Hi, I'm Laura, a Solution Architect here at Matillion. Today, we're going to look at using the Grid Variables feature in Matillion ETL products. So, let's get started. So here we can see we've got some data in a table which contains information about some columns that we want to create in a new table. So within an orchestration job, I can configure my Grid Variables by simply right-clicking, go to Manage Grid Variables, in here, I want to add a new variable. I can choose the behavior of the variable and the visibility. And then within the grid variable, I can choose to define some columns for the variable and their associated types. So the first column is going to be the column name that we want to create in our new table. Then we want to create the data type. And then finally, we want to give the size of that data type, and that is in numeric. We can add some default values in here. It's always sensible to add in default values. This means that any components referencing the grid variables will validate with the default values. And now our grid variable has been configured and we are ready to use it. So first of all, I want to populate that grid variable with the results of that table query. We're going to use the query result to grid component. So let's connect that up to the start component. And within here, we simply select the table that we want to use to query. So let's grab that metadata table I was looking at just before. We can select which columns from that table are applicable to the grid variable. So let's have all of them here. And we can also specify an order by in here as well if that's applicable. Now we can configure the grid variable reference. So let's reference that table setup grid variable that I've just created. And now we need to map. So we need to map from the columns in my table, so the results of the query, across into the columns of my grid variable. So the column for my grid variable should be the column name column in my table and, and then correspondingly with the data types and also with the sizes. And now that query result to grid component has turned green, it means it's valid. So next perhaps I might want to use the resulting grid variables to create a new table. So we can use this create table component we can say once we've successfully populated our grid, now use the contents of it to create the table. Give the table name. Let's replace it if it already exists. And then within the table metadata here, rather than fix these columns that we want to create through in here, instead I can use a grid variable by just checking the box here. So let's select my grid variable in the table setup. The column mappings are I want to map the column name into my grid variable column. Let's map the data types and then let's map the sizes. We'll leave the decimal places and the encoding blank. Hit OK in there. And now my create table has turned green. So I can simply right click to run this job. And here we can see it took seven rows out of my metadata table and populated that into the grid, and then it was able to successfully create my table from this. So now I can jump back into the transformation, and I can use a table input to query this table. So let's grab that grid variable test table I've just created. Let's bring through all columns from here, and now we can sample it. And here we can see that we've managed to create a blank table with all of the cost columns that I specified within the metadata table. So this is just one example of how you might want to use grid variables. Obviously, there are many different applications for them across the Matillion product. I hope you found that helpful. For further details of the Matillion products, please visit us at matillion.com. Thank you.